everyone, this is your Willy C. Degent, Mimos Valme from Success. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please consider like and subscribe on this channel. And this channel, with I take the time to give you a little information about what you need to purchase your first home and to increase your credit score. Because we know to buy a home, you need a credit score without buy your first home. So today I'm going to talk to you about a few you can use apply as I'm talking that's going to help you to increase your score. To build your credit score, you need to be organized. So to take care, to take responsibility of our own score, that's why we end up paying a lot of, lot of interest. So what is a credit score? So some of us, we don't know what is a credit score. A credit score, a credit score is so important. Your credit score help the lender decide how likely you are to repay your debt. So for the lender to know if you really a good bachelor to give you a debt. For example, when you go apply for a car payment, so you go apply for home payment, a home loan payment. So the way they see if you go in to pay them back is by looking, checking at your credit score to see all the debts that you were accumulating in the past if you were paying them like you were agreed to pay them so that's why before they give you any debts they go ahead and try to check your credit to see if if you have somebody that they can trust so a code if your credit score is below 619 you need to start taking responsibility to increase your score if your credit score is below 619 your credit score need to repair you need to start working and repair your score. So I'm going to tell you a few tips that's going to help you if you apply them as we speak, that's going to help you to increase. All start with a credit score 300. So the credit score is range from 300 to 850. You can have a credit, a credit score 800 and I can have a credit score 400. So we, if it's your credit score is below 619, you need to take responsibility to know to find out what you need to do to increase your score. Because your score is not going to increase on its own. So you need to take responsibility to start working in your report and your credit score to build your credit. So the book that I read, there's a quote that I was saying, when you know better, you do better. That's it. It's really shame to know better than you don't do better. So when you know something, if you don't do it, it doesn't really kill you. You don't feel guilty. Your credit, you know that everything that you need, you they're going to check your credit. So why don't you take responsibility and start fixing your credit score? So there's another quote that said, when you do something, you can teach it. So I had the privilege to take my credit score from a 300 where all of us started to 15 as we speak. So if I can take my credit score to 815, so I can, I'm going to tell you everything that I do, which is basic stuff that we're all supposed to be doing. So that's going to help you to take your credit score to 815. So as you know, when you're, if you go on the app, if you, for example, the, you go to the app, the credit camera that I told, that I'm going to talk to you a little bit about, it's going, when you click on it, it's going to tell you if your credit score is poor, if it's fair, if it's good, if it's excellent, if it's exceptional. So by building my credit score from 300 to 815, so when I check it always, it said my credit score is excellent. As you know, a credit score can be various, can be up and down. Let's say if you have a large debt on your credit score, you don't pay them on time. So it can put your credit score down. So I had the opportunity to take my credit score, even though I have a student loan, even though I have a mortgage on my credit. So I still was be able to take my credit score from 300 to 815. So let's say, for example, anywhere that I go, if I apply for something, they're not going to double check to see if this girl is going to pay me on time. So that's one of the things. So that's one of the things I'm going to share with you what I did because my goal is on this community is to help you to increase your score so you can have a better life. So we are supposed to take care of ourselves. We don't wait for anyone to come and say, you know what, you need to build your score. So you are an adult, you need to be for your credit, you're responsible for your action. 
so i'm going to share a few tips with you that's going to help you to build your score let's get started the first step is to pay your bill before time why do i say you need to pay your bill before time most of us we are busy then we are too busy we forget to pay our bill we always wait at the last minute to go to pay our bill so when you wait at the last minute to pay your bill so if you don't do it online if you don't do it online if the system doesn't process it even though you pay your bill the one they do that is not really count for you because if it's not processing when the computer go check by midnight they automatically gonna charge you a late fee because they don't receive the payment so you need to take responsibility for yourself to pay your bill before time so they need to actually get the payment before they do this one of the things that can help you to pay your bill on time like i did what i did every month i have a date that i pay all my bill so every second of the month i take that date i sit for a couple hours to go online if i have to go to each of the website to make a payment to to go to call to make it via phone or on the website i take that date that date which is on the second i pay all my bill so my bill some of my bill they do on the fifth they do on the 14th they do on the 22nd and the 23rd so because i don't for any late fee because in late fee let's say ten dollars late fee 37 dollar late fee they, they all can add up so quickly so we need to be smart the other way that the company make money on top of the interest that they charge you is by late fee so the first step is to pay your bill on time and before time so the second tip that's gonna help you to win credit score is to use less than 15 percent of your credit card some of us we have a credit card we max it out it's not good for us so nobody ever explained to us what how to use a credit card but i'm here to tell you if you have a credit card for 200 for 200 for two thousand dollars take two thousand multiplied by fifteen hundred is gonna give you three three thousand three hundred dollars so the three hundred dollars is what you're supposed to be using on a monthly basis on a monthly two thousand dollars card some people say you know what i don't have a two thousand dollar card all i have is a two is a three hundred card so take 300 divide a multiply by 15 percent with five dollars so a credit card is supposed to be for emergency a credit card is not supposed to be for you to take to the store to go shopping to get yourself a flat screen tv for seven to two thousand dollars when the bill come you can't pay it so a credit card meant for an emergency so the second step to be is to use less than 15 percent of your credit card tip the third tip that's gonna i will tell you on the third the third thing that you need to do to help you increase your score if all your collection is if your collection is less than three years you need to call all your collection company call them multiple time a few times try to settle the debt with them try to settle the debt with them some of the credit repair they're gonna tell you don't call don't pay your claim they're gonna to help you to fix your credit when they pay when you pay them to help you to fix a credit what do they do all they do when they send letter and tell the, the collection company that this debt is not belong to you 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 and i know deep down that debt you know about it so if it's passed if it's there for less than two years if you went on collection for less than two years your job is to call the collection company try to settle with the debt with them because if some of that they find they're gonna be on your credit report for seven years some of them fall on the chapter 10 they're gonna be on your credit for 10 years so you can see if you want to wait for like another four years another four years another five years seven years for that collection to fall out of your credit where you're gonna pay a lot of interest it's good to call those collection companies if the credit is if the collection is under three years to try to settle with them when you do settle with them don't worry they're gonna tell you that they're not gonna delete the account but when you do settle the account with them after a few months you're gonna see the account is closed 
you're gonna see it is closed and then after another few months when you check on your credit that account that collection company is gonna be nowhere to be found because the collection company is there on your credit to mess you up so you and i we are too smart to wait for a collection company to mess us up so life i always has a second chance so you need to pick up the phone and call your collection company to try to settle with them so the fourth step with to increase your score the first step to increase your score is to stop going to store and apply for a lot of credit cards every store that you went the job is to make you open as many as credit cards so you can get confused you cannot keep track on paying them and they end up charging you a lot of interest rate and then a lot of late fee so if you want you so you only need like a between two to three credit cards you might have two major cards, a visa or a logo, which is you can use it at anywhere that you go in the US that stick visa and logo. You can use it in a store card. So you don't need 10,000 credit cards. You don't need 15 credit cards. You don't need 20 credit cards. Every time you go to the store, the cash will say, you know what, ma'am? Do you want ma'am, sir? Do you want to open a new credit card? We're going to give you 10%. All you have to say is just thank you. When you do try to open the credit card, they're going to give you the hard inquiries that's going to stay on your score for two years. And also, let's say you do apply for the credit Let's say you apply for the, for the credit card, you get approved. So let's say every month that credit card, probably the interest rate is like over 29, 22%. So every month you actually do apply open a user credit card you get charged a late fee so that 10% that they give you a couple dollars at the beginning every month and when you try to cancel that credit card is also going to put your score down so the best thing is so stop applying for a lot of credit card just be nicely tell them thank you I've already have two credit you I don't want any more because the company is not in your advantage the company's job is to mess you up so you and I we are smart enough to keep our credit card limit to two to three credit card we don't need more a credit card is meant for an emergency a credit card is not there for you to go shopping every day so the fourth the fourth tip to help you to increase your score is stop applying for credit card everywhere you go so all you need is two credit cards you need you don't need more than two so the last thing you need to do to help you to increase your score you need to keep checking your credit score on a daily basis so the way that you check your score on a daily basis you need to apply that even though the score is inaccurate but it tell you exactly what in your score if something is new you know it if something is fishy you know it so you need to have this app in your phone so on a daily basis every time break you can actually sit and check your score to see what is on it so so what's on it the other way you can actually check your score also a credit bureau company it which is the transunion the equifax or uh, the experience you can get the app you can download them in your score in your phone and that's gonna help you because you are entitled to one free credit score every every year so you can have access to check your score so those are the tips that i had for you do if you consider increase your score so you can share it with somebody else if those it's good to share it with your friends so if you are new to this channel please consider subscribe and like this video and share it with your friend and give me a thumbs up so you can channel for the first time consider subscribe if you're not already done so and then share this video with your friend anybody that you know that needs to repair the credit score that have that doesn't have access that's always deny when they go to apply for something it's always good to help you it's subscribe to to my channel and like this video and share it with your friend so those are the tips that i have to share with you to help you to increase your score i took my score from 300 to 815 so if you apply those four things that i tell you those are going to help you to increase your score you i believe in you you can do it you can take your score from 300 like and subscribe to this channel i will see you next time Bye bye